obviously I'm always out. So I'm always trying to find new things. And I've come across some things. Well, I went out because Juan T had given me this. And he put a note in it saying that he wants this to race. Um, he wants this to go against the gauntlet and go for track champion. So it's an ID chase car. I don't have this one. So I don't want to open this. Sorry, Juan T. But what, here's what I did. So I went out and while I was out, uh, as I came across some other things. I went out and I went and I bought the mainline version of this car. So I'm going to race this car in its place in Wong T's name. Now, I'm not real excited about this because number one, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the twin mill um, and they're fast. So I have a feeling that this car is going to climb its way to track champion and I'm gonna have to deal with that. But uh, this is what Juan T wanted. This is what he sent in to race. So I went and I picked this up to to race in its place. Um, I'm not rooting for it, but I'm going to go ahead and give it that race. And dang it, these are fast. So I really think that it's going to run the gauntlet. I think it's gonna do it. We'll see though. But yeah, this, this is gonna be hanging on the wall with the other ID cars over there. Cause like I said, I don't have this one. So I'm really happy that he sent it. I, I love this. It's not coming out of his package or out of his blister. So while I was out, um, I found one J case car. I'm still missing the Porsches, uh, several, I mean, so many, the Mustang, the, the Camaro split fender. I mean, there's just so, so many that I miss the split fender, the Camaro split bumper. But I did find the new Lancia. Lancia Dell. Delta Integral, Lancia Delta Integral. I found the new color variation of this, which actually, I like this black better than the white. This looks a lot better. I think those yellow wheels play off this black really nice. So, found this. This is the only J case car I've recently found. There's still so many out of that case I gotta grab. Um, I was given a tip though that uh, there's gonna be a drop at one of the targets tomorrow as a matter of fact so uh, I will be there tomorrow at around 11 o'clock because that's when they're gonna be pushing them out so hopefully I'll have some good stuff there uh, also um, was at Walmart that was when I went to go get the uh, the twin mill I came across this and uh, it's it's a treasure hunt so <laughs> it's the monster truck treasure hunt but it is it is a treasure hunt. Um, so, kind of cool. Grabbed it because, you know, since I've recently gone to Monster Jam, I'm now a big fan of monster trucks. And uh, then I, and I saw this on the peg. So I said, you know what? I'm grabbing it. I picked it up. So I picked that up. And I came across another one of these. So, the Nissan Skyline. And I think that's just, that just looks good. I like this car a lot. So this is the second one that I have, which means I can take one out or I can keep it blistered and then maybe use it for trades. So I don't know, but man, I, I like that car. I like the way that looks. First one, uh, I traded the Mustang Hunter to get. Uh, we traded a Koenigsegg to get that one. So checked my mail and there's a box here. There's a little package here. Um, I don't remember speaking to this person about like doing trades or anything coming or going. So, so I'm not gonna say the name on camera because I don't know if they want their name to be said on camera. But we're gonna open this up and see what what is sent. So, look, I got myself a new knife. I don't know. I just I like knives. Magically. Now remember, when we're opening packages, we always cut away from ourselves. So there will be somebody who cuts towards themselves and then cuts themselves and then bleeds and then it's just like, why? And I won't feel bad for them. Because I told them, cut away from yourself. Some people just don't listen. All right. This box nice and open. 
packaging, more packaging, more packaging. Oh, yes, I know what this is. Okay, so I ordered this actually off of Facebook and I am so happy that this is here. Outstanding. So I, <laughs> this is gonna go for my race day, my race day stuff. Get that tape off. So I ordered this, like I said, off of Facebook. It is the tower for the races. This is gonna be my race tower. So, as we know, track champion. He's gonna sit right there on top. Sitting in second place is the 2010 Camaro Pro Stock. Sitting in third on the tree, the gauntlet, I don't know what we'll call this thing, gauntlet, is the Porsche. Now, this is the Challenger. So the next race, he has to race the Porsche Panamera. If he beats the Porsche Panamera, then he gets to race the 2010 Pro Stock Camaro. If he beats the 2010 Pro Stock Camaro, then he gets to go against the track champ. <clears throat> Excuse me. He gets to go against the track champion. So, but if he loses against the Porsche Panamera, then he'll sit right here. So, but if he loses against the Camaro, then he'll sit here. And then the Camaro will have a chance to race again for track champion. So that's how I'm doing it. So the new competitor to challenge the gauntlet is Juan T in the twin mill. The twin mill. Yeah, I guess, you know, that's actually not a bad paint job. It does kind of look cool. It's like an arrowhead, but still a twin mill. And I'm afraid it's going to be fast and it's going to be sitting right there on top. And uh, that's not going to sit well with me. Also, so you guys know that the Mustang Hunter gave me that pro, that uh, funny car, Mustang funny car. So this is the Mustang Hunter sitting at the top of this tree right now. This is one that I brought to the game, which is sitting in second place. This one is uh, Tom Brown, is in the Porsche Panamera. And then this one will be Juan T. Such a cool name, Juan T. And it, this is absolutely amazing. Okay, so, oh my gosh. All right, so. Oh my gosh, I, um, well, I took off, I went to Walmart, just because I was bored, I had nothing else to do. Um, you know, I did a little bit of filming, talked about some of the stuff that you guys, you know, you just saw in the video before this little break happened. But, uh, so I went out to Walmart and I found a, two more JK's cars, or a motorcycle in a car. I found the Ducati out of the JK's, and then I found the new tuned Mustang out of the JK's. But you know what guys, whatever, this is not a big deal. Not from what's sitting right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm at Walmart and, and the Mustang Hunter text messages me. He's like, hey, can I swing by real quick? I got a package for you. And I told him, I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm just checking out here at Walmart. I'll be home in like 10 minutes. I come home, he comes rolling up and he hands this to me. He doesn't say anything, he just hands it to me. And you know, I see this, you know, that stands out. I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. And then, then I see my name on it again, real quick, you know, fragile. And then right here, it, it says, uh, you know, thanks for your help, Mustang Hunter. You know, so it says that on the, on the packaging. And then, you know, here it says, be very careful opening, you know, fragile. And I'm like, and I'm looking at this and I'm just like, man, who, who sent this? And I rotated around. And oh my goodness, guys, this is from El Presidente. This is from Hewitt's Hot Wheels. I'm, dude, I'm shaking. I am shaking. This guy is a masterpiece. Masterpiece? No, this guy creates masterpieces. He is a master customizer. Um, every time I go to uh, the Mustang Hunters Hideaway, 
one of the first cars I look at. I always make it a point to go over there and I look at that custom gasser that he made for the Mustang Hunter because it is outstanding. It is absolutely amazing. And I and I see the cars like uh, JDC, the pro stock that he that he sent to to uh, Jay over at JDC. Oh my God, mind blowing. He recently just did a video where he showed uh, a custom gasser that he did. Um, and again, made uh, absolute glass. It's green, you know. And it, he was cruising around, making. Oh, I'm telling you, he's a master. And I'm kind of freaking out right now because I'm holding in my hand something from Hewitt, Hewitt's Hot Wheels. And I am hoping, I am hoping that it is one of his customs. So <laughs> let's get to opening this and see what the Jedi Master himself has sent me. Oh man. Guys, I can't, I'm I, seriously, I am. Okay. Let's see where it would be the best way to open. There's a lot of tape on this. So I'm going to try and cut it across here. See if I can get through that tape. He said to be careful. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be careful. Oh, Hewitt, I'm so excited right now. You don't understand. I am so excited. And oh my goodness, there's tape all over this thing. <laughs> nope, I thought that would work. Okay, I'm just gonna have to rip into it. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a pair of helping hands. Maybe it's maybe it's a set of of of, uh, of helping hands for for so I can do customs. No, there's no way that's what it is. <sighs> there's a note. There's a note, there's a note, there's a note. All right. And I need my glasses. I want to make sure I read this right. Ooh, here you go, brother. One custom. Yes. Just like you wanted. I've been wanting this. Like, since he sent one to the Mustang Hunter, I would have been, like, freaking out. Oh, I got to get a hold of one of these. And then, I, you know, I saw him send them to other people, and I was just, like, I started whimpering, and I'm like, oh. Okay. Uh, I hope it will meet your standards. Uh, of course I would have sent something else but I have no idea what to send you anything you make you can send me like all your work is amazing um, that you don't have already that you haven't already found take care brother and keep them and keep them awesome photo montages going well uh, and then he signed it he's got a very cool signature I'm pretty sure that uh, this is going to be this video's photo montage. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. Let's see what we got here. More bubble wrap. More tape. I can see some Batman stickers. You know, when I when I watch other videos and I see these guys and they open up their customs and, and they get the bad, you know, you can see the Batman sticker right there. They get that sticker. I'm like, ah. Oh. That's like his signature. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can't tell you how excited I am right now, guys. This is, 
absolutely insane. There's the bad man sticker. I don't have like a cool, oh, I got two. You know, like the Mustang Hunter now, he has a cool place to stick his sticker. I don't have that place yet. I gotta, I gotta figure out where I can put some of these stickers. That's cool. Yay, I got bad man stickers. It's a custom cotton ball. <laughs> All right, how does this open? Oh yeah, look, look, okay. The bottom is signed. Hugh, it's so cool. Oh, this is so cool. And I haven't even seen it yet. And I'm freaking out. Guys, I want, I want you to see it as I see it. Okay, that's the car. Let's get the rest of this cotton out of here. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, that is, not, the glasses have to go back on. The glasses have to go back on. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely amazing. And he signed it. You got his signature right there. Oh, look at those wheels. Look at that motor. Oh, and it's a rat thing. That is so cool. So when I was growing up, actually, like down the street from where I grew up, there was a like a an auto shop. It says Rat Fink on the back. That is so cool. So where I was growing up, there was an auto shop and uh, they were called Desert Rat. And they used a lot of Rat Fink type artwork type look. So growing up down the street, like there was these customizers and they used all this kind of work. And I just would just, oh man. Look at the gas tank in the back. There's a, this is so cool. NOS tank. So, so cool. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this. Love, love, love this. I know this is gonna drive Hewitt's nuts. This popped off. I know it goes right there. Because it's the wheelie bars. So I'm gonna just glue that back on. But man, that this looks amazing. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Hewitt's, thank you so much. I'm, I'm lost for words. I don't know how to... This is amazing. Oh gosh, the back, the, the, the detail in the back of this thing. I could stare at this thing forever. Okay, so this is gonna be the photo montage of this video. Hewitt's Hot Wheels. James, thank you so much. Photo montage, let's get to it.